Hello YouTube, this is Metal Trooper 62 here, and this is a quick video. Um, I'm doing a Polish underfolder AK AKM-47 build, and I'm getting some parts and stuff, and I just wanted to run over some parts that I got. Um, I got these over the last week or so. So I'm just going to go over real quick what I got. So first off, this is my receiver flat. I've been my own receivers. And I got this from akbuilder.com. And it, as you can see, it's got all the holes and stuff in it for the rear folding stock hardware and trunnion and all that stuff. And then it comes with the rails. So, akbuilder.com is about the best place to get flats if you want to go that route. But, uh, I guess they're painting these or, or got some kind of coating on these to help prevent rust. Um, as far as the heat treating goes, I usually go by the visual of, you know, the temperature of the metal. So we're going to see how this works out with this being, you know, black and not just regular bare metal. Which, probably once I hit heat to it, this, this is going to come off. So, But if I can't do it visually, then I'll just use the magnet uh, technique. Then, some other parts. These also come from akbuilder.com. And this is basically a rear support. It'll go right here. And this just reinforces the lower part of the receiver since you have, you know, a fair amount of metal, you know, out, taken off uh, for your underfolding stuff. But this will spot weld to this. Actually, it'll, it'll flip over. And then you just spot weld it. And then these, these are also from akbuilder.com. And this is my rivet set for the Polish underfolder. And this, again, akbuilder.com. I get a lot of my stuff from akbuilder.com. But uh, this is the center support. And this will go, um, there's a hole that you have to drill out right there and that just adds uh, structure to your receiver in the middle part of your receiver and then from arms of america i'm gonna move this stuff over here. arms of america i went ahead and i did a lot of research on on barrels and stuff and i prefer as far as you know, like my ak builds and that I really like the Steyr cold hammer forged chrome line barrels, but uh, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of good things said about these these American made barrels barrels, and this is one of the black nitrided barrels. It's night black nitrided inside and out. It's got the threaded. It'll focus. It's got the threaded muzzle. And uh, the black nitriding, it's not a coating or anything. It actually changes the uh, molecular structure of the metal and makes it harder and more resistant to corrosion. And the bore is dark. So... Unlike chrome lining, chrome lining barrels is, is kind of a difficult process. And with it being in a coating, it's it's almost impossible to get an even, you know, the same thickness all the way down the barrel in uniform and everything. Uh, chrome line barrels are, are still really good barrels, you know, to have. Um, but... These black nitrided barrels are starting to become very, very popular. And plus, it'll give me a part for one of my U.S. parts 
or my 922 R compliant. So my build is, you know, legal. Then I got these bits right here. These are cobalt bits. And since the black nitride is really hard, just a regular standard drill bits will shatter if you try drilling into them. So these are cobalt. And uh, this drill bit right here will be used to drill the, the pinholes for the front sight block and the gas block. And this drill bit right here will be used to drill the hole for the rear sight block pin. And this drill bit will be used for drilling out the barrel pin, which the barrel pin will be drilled out here after you get the trunnion and head space and everything correctly. But uh, the more I'm thinking, drill bits have a tendency to walk. And for drilling my barrel pin, I think I'm going to go with a quarter inch end mill, which I can use that on my drill press, right there. And then I'll chase it with a seven millimeter reamer, which I already have the reamer. So I just have to find a quarter inch end mill, and hopefully I can find one. I've, I found them, but I've only found them in sets, and I don't really need, you know, all this set. But, uh, but yeah, that's just a, a quick rundown on some of the parts I got. I'm still waiting on head spacing gauges and a few other things. I'm probably going to go ahead and get my receiver bent and then get the, the front trunnion holes drilled, which these flats don't have the front trunnion holes drilled, which I prefer those because sometimes, you know, those holes might not line up exactly. But other than that, um, I guess that's about it. And I will keep you updated as this project goes on. Until next time, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Like, share, comment, subscribe only if you want to. And until next time, y'all have a good one. See ya.